Kavita, I don't know if it means anything more than um, price, at least at certain levels, attracts buyers almost um, regardless of what the, the news backdrop is. It seems people like come in and buy it when it gets down in the low 40s. Yeah. Um, hey, Joe, good morning. But I also feel there has been a lot of movements which has happened, right? So Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve chairman, came and said, we're not going to ban Bitcoin, we're not going to ban cryptocurrency. And I think that was a big booster because a lot of people were thinking after China, where is it going to go? So that has really worked out. Uh, I think the second one which we see is the there is a huge expectation of BTC and ETF, uh, ET, uh, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs to be able to be approved this month or earlier next month. And I think that's a big jump. Plus, all for all the energy, uh, all the people who really love energy, uh, El Salvador mined Bitcoin using volcanic energy. So I think everything positive started coming out last week. And we suddenly see such a huge movement out there. And we are seeing, you are absolutely right, too, that uh, people are still deep into the space. And every time there is a buying opportunity, people take it to the bullish market, too. You mentioned organic energy. I didn't see this till, till I studied up on it over the weekend. It's yeah. just it, no. The, the, this this El Salvador news is. I got so excited. I was just telling Andrew about it uh, off camera. So, who knew El Salvador <laughs> could, had the had the the technical expertise? El Salvador has started mining Bitcoin using the energy from volcanoes. And not only did in in Cavita they they mined. 0.00599179 Bitcoin. So it was $269 worth of Bitcoin yeah. was what they mined. Uh, but they did. The president posted a 25-second video which showed the government, <laughs> the government uh, shipping container full of, of mining equipment and then a drone flying over a forest that bordered a volcano. And he's, yeah. he's really staked his presidency uh, on, on this Bitcoin experiment to some extent. And, and why not? I mean, uh, we are not saying it's perfect, the technology of using it. Like, for all the people who are thinking about, hey, is this an energy efficient way? Yes, as like any technology, which start from some place, find their adoption and then move towards being energy efficient. This is what's happening now. Now just imagine if El Salvador can use volcanic power, completely natural. Think about Iceland. You know, think about all the places where we have thermal in a lot of sun, like Portugal and Greece and all the places. We have the technology, Joe. We are there now. It's, it, it's uh, El Salvador. That's what I was just saying. I said, how cool is that? Who knew that they had the, uh, the technology down in El Salvador? We give them a lot of, a lot of credit. So it, it did seem, as the market and financial assets weakened last week for whatever reason, you know, the October... Uh, you know, coming, the angst in the equity markets, the interest rates. Bitcoin once again slumped with the risk off trade. Now it's come back. Obviously, so did the market. But it still seems highly correlated with risk assets. And instead of, of going, you know, it should be going up um, when the Fed, you know, continue, you know, puts off tapering. It should be going up. It shouldn't be going going down based on. Uh, you know, other uh, like interest rates going up. But but I also feel there's a huge part to play. Like it, it has been widely reported that the big bulls are buying a lot of Ethereum in favor than uh, Bitcoin. Like ETH prices have consistently went up 2,600 to back to around 3,500. And I feel like all the building which has been happening in the space. And yes, one of the big news last week also on the Bitcoin build up with Twitter saying that they're going to that they have started the tipping service on Bitcoin, while the big multi-billion dollars NFTs and DeFi products continue to build on ETH. I, I feel like it's a build economy which is driving now.